Today, we're gonna to talk about the five reasons that you should learn .NET right now. See, here on the YouTube channel and in the bootcamp, we get asked the question a lot. Why do you guys use .NET? Why do you teach .NET? And so we think that .NET gives you a broad ecosystem to build lots of things. But I wanna give you five specific reasons why you should learn .NET and build your career around it. So when you're building any kind of application, whether that be a Windows app, a, a desktop app, or a web app, or a mobile app, or something like that, what you use to build it with is very important. And Microsoft has built some of the best tooling on the planet with VS Code and Visual Studio. Now, when we talk about web development and Windows development, Visual Studio really shines here. It has some of those powerful tooling on the planet. I believe it's the best IDE on the planet. And it also makes you extremely productive with the built-in templates and starter things that allow you to get right to the business of building your app. So when you're looking at what language I should learn or should I learn .NET or not, the big thing that comes into factor is the tooling. And Visual Studio is heads above better than most of the IDs out there on the market. It makes you more productive. It's used by lots of people and it allows you to build your apps faster and in a better way with the kind of the templates that you put together. There's a lot of things built inside of Visual Studio from like scaffolding your views from a database to a lot of code snippets that allow you to get identity and security up and running um, right out of the box, allows you to also implement things like containers. There's a lot of built-in features in this tooling from building to publishing to security that just surpasses anything else on the market. So if there's a good reason why you should learn .NET, it's because of the tooling. One of the biggest reasons why you should pick any stack is, can I be employed with it? Can I build my career around .NET? And the answer is unequivocally yes. You can look on Microsoft site and see all of the companies that use .NET in their day-to-day -day applications. And that's the one, some well-known companies and some other ones that are smaller and not so well-known. But universally, .NET is used in most of corporate America, and it's also in most of the other kind of projects that are being built today, like line of business apps or something like that for the, the inventory control system to the shop down the street, all the way to like an Outback or a UPS to build their mobile experience. And that's the other thing about .NET. It encompasses a lot of things when we talk about it. And a lot of times we're just focusing on maybe web development, but it's also the first class citizen for desktop development. So if you wanna build desktop apps, you definitely wanna be into the .NET C-sharp realm. If you're building web apps, we're looking at things like ASP.NET. Now there's other things out there like React and Angular, and there's a lot of stacks out there. But when you start looking at the amount of things just in web development, from ASP.NET to Blazor to Web API, I can build services on the back end. That means that I'm gonna be useful to a lot of companies in a broad context. Even if I know React or I know Angular, there's a good chance that they're gonna ask you to know C Sharp because they're gonna build their back end web services piece of it with Web API and C Sharp on the back end. So all of these things, that means that .NET is in high demand and it's definitely something you can build your career around. Now, the one thing that um, constant criticism about .NET is they think that it's Windows only. And so when you're talking to people that haven't really looked at .NET in several years, they think it's Windows only. Well, .NET now is open source and cross-platform. So that means you can build a web application and literally run it anywhere. In fact, here at Coder Foundry, we push our .NET applications that we teach our students to and push them to Heroku using containers. This constant innovation is seen through the development roadmap for .NET. Now that Microsoft is on an annual update from .NET 5 and .NET 6 will be out in this November. And in that, you're seeing lots and lots of innovation. This constant thread of innovation where they're pushing the platform, not only in the language, but the types of things it can build and the capabilities like with .NET MAUI cross UI, which means that I can now build something that can target the desktop, the mobile, 
and the web with the same code base. And that's something that hasn't been really realized before. It's always been a whole grail development. I want to write one code base and I want to push that to any platform of my choice. And with .NET, that's becoming increasingly reality because Microsoft is committed to this constant innovation on the platform. And what does that mean to you? That means your skills will be constantly in demand because Microsoft, because they're pushing this innovation out on an annual basis, that means companies are flocking to this platform because they have things that they wanna build and they see .NET and C Sharp as a way to do that. One of the other big reasons why you should use .NET or why you should build your career around it is because you can build literally anything. .NET encompasses Windows development, web development, mobile development, service-based development like Web API or microservices. It can do machine learning, embedded. It can do any type of programming you want to use. And the primary language you do that across all of those platforms is C Sharp. And so now C Sharp allows you to be a window developer, a mobile developer, and a web developer. So there's a lot of things that you can do, which means that you have more opportunities to put your skills in the marketplace. And they're a leader in all of these places too. So if think about Windows development. If you wanna write Windows development, pretty much is WPF or WIM forms with C Sharp and .NET. And that is the first class citizen of Windows development. Now, with the advent of .NET 6 coming out, now you're gonna start seeing where we can actually push a desktop app also to Mac OS because it's gonna be cross cross platform. And that's an exciting thing for you as a developer. I can learn one language and now I can target Mac OS and Windows development as well. Now, when we look at the web arena, our web arena is truly cross platform, which means that my application can run on a Windows host or it can also run on a Linux host. Um, and when we look at mobile development, we have things like Xamarin and it's gonna be pushed out to something called .NET Maui later in the year, but Xamarin has constant innovation, allowing you to build cross platform mobile applications, which means your application will run on iOS and Android. You also can look at ML.net, you can look at embedded and this um, machine or the internet of things. All of those things are capable with .NET framework and C Sharp. So when you think about building a career around something, maybe your interests change, maybe you wanna suddenly build mobile apps, but you've been a web developer. Because you know .NET and C Sharp, you'll be more easily to make that jump. So you can have this wide and varied career all built around .NET. So one thing that you can think about too is when you're picking a stack and the things that I want to build, think about the company behind that stack. So with the stacks that are very popular, you have Angular, it's Google behind it. And so you have React, you have Facebook behind it. But behind all of this ecosystem of .NET is in fact a company called Microsoft, which is one of the most valued companies in the world period. Now, when you look at Facebook as a social media company and you want to use React for that, that's great. And it will probably continue as long as Facebook wants it to. But when you look at what Microsoft does being a technology centric company built around development, you look at their dominance in the cloud platform. You look at the dominance in just how many people are using .NET today and C Sharp. You look at the continued success in the innovation as they roll out .NET 5, .NET 6, and soon to be .NET 7. All of this innovation backed by a company that literally has billions of dollars to pour into this ecosystem, that means it's gonna be around for the foreseeable future. That means you can build a 10 or 20 year career around this stuff. Don't listen to people that say that no one's using Microsoft anymore or none of the tools are out there. Just look at a quick look at the stock price and you can see that it's going through the roof because Microsoft is behind this and they're pushing this innovation out through their tooling, through their languages and all the things that you can build with it. Or you need a really good reason to pick a language to base your career around, pick it with one of the largest companies on the planet that is committed to your success and innovation and Microsoft fits that bill. Hey, if you're liking this video, please remember to like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications of all of our future great content. So sum this all up, when you look at the, the entire .NET ecosystem from probably the best IDs in the tooling on the planet 
It's one of the most in-demand stacks out there. It's used by almost every corp, uh, corporation in the US to build down applications. It's been constantly innovated by Microsoft itself with these annual releases and Microsoft itself being one of the largest companies on the planet. That means you can build a career around this. If you're looking to build a career, but you don't know how to get started, maybe consider Coder Founder. We'd love to be your teacher, your coach, or your mentor um, at Coder Founder, and we teach .NET in our bootcamp. But if you don't, consider .NET and start building that career today. I hope this helps. Good luck and keep coding.